Welcome students, we are talking about the nodes on ANGI and uh, in the previous lecture video I have discussed about the general features of ANGI and also the range of thala structure of ANGI and the reproductive procedures of the ANGI mainly the vegetative reproduction and the asexual reproduction and in this video we will be discussed about the sexual reproduction in ANGI and you know in sexual reproduction the two different gametes the male gametes and the female gametes are united with each other to form the zygotes okay so in cases of sexual reproduction in algae any vegetative cells of the plant body may produce gametes actually the algal body may be unicellular or the multicellular in cases of the multicellular plant body any of the vegetative cell can produce the gamete and thus behave as the gametangium so gametangium is uh, that special types of structure in the vegetative plant body which produce the gametes or the specialized gametangium may be developed. So a cell may be gametangium or specialized gametangium may be developed. The gametangia may be morphologically similar, then these are called as the isogametangia. So gametangia may be morphologically similar or dissimilar. The morphologically similar gametangia are called as isogametangia. And dissimilar gametangia are called the heterogametangia. And the heterogametangia can be divisible into two broad parts. One is male gametangium and another is female gametangium. The male gametangium are usually smaller and the female gametangium are usually larger. Okay, so here you can see the male gametangium and the male gametangium are usually smaller and the female gametangium which is very very larger than the male gametangium. And the male gametangium is also called as the antheridium and in the plural form this is called antheridia. So the male gametangia is called as antheridium and the female gametangium is called the ugonium or plural form is the ugonia or this is called as carpogonium. So this is the ugonium. And male gametangia produce one or more gamete which may be flagellated or non-flagellated and the male gametangia will be uh, synthesized or produce the male gametes and this may be flagellated or bi-flagellated that is the male gametes may either be motile or the non-motile but female gametangia produce only one gametes okay so here this is the female gametangium or the ugonium and this produce only one gamete and female gametangium produces only non-flagellated female gamete so the female gamete is non-flagellated here you can see and the female gamete is called as the ovum okay and flagellated male gametes are called the antherozoids or the spermatozoids flagellated male gametes is called as antherozoids and non-flagellated female gamete is called the ovum or the oospore or the egg. This is the diagram of the sex organ of oogonium and oogonium uh, you can see the many vegetative cells are present and of which the specialized these are the specialized cells which which is developed to form the uh, uh, from the gametangia okay and these are the antheridia that is they will produce the male gamete and these male gametes since they are flagellated so the, these male gametes are called antherozoid and female gametangia and female gametangia is called ugonium and in this female gametangia only one female gamete or the ovum is produced and from the male gametangia or the antheridia the male gamete or the antherozoid are liberated and this will enter into the female ugonium and this will be united with the ovum and these are the sex organs of Udogonium species. Sexual reproduction takes place after the plant has had a certain amount of vegetative growth. Actually, algae can show various types, various modes of reproduction. They can show vegetative reproduction, uh, asexual reproduction and the sexual reproduction. And the sexual reproduction only uh, take place after the plant has, a, has had a certain amount of vegetative growth. And when the plant body becomes mature, then this will show the sexual reproduction. And also, certain amount of the food reserve has been built up. So when these two criteria is fulfilled, then the algae will undergo into the sexual reproduction. And here I have written a few important few important points. In Bactrachospermum, Bactrachospermum is a kind of rhodophysae. The male sex organ is called spermatangium. Actually, usually uh, the algae, the male sex organ is called uh, antheridia. But in cases of Bactrachospermum, the male sex organ is called spermatangium produce the non-motile male gamete spermatium okay and usually the male gametes are motile but uh, the spermato sperm uh, but batrachospermum produces non-motile male gametes this is important and female sex organ is called carpogonium 
द मोस्ट कॉम्प्लेक्स सेक्स ऑर्गन ग्लोब्यूल और द मेल सेक्स ऑर्गन इज कॉल्ड ग्लोब्यूल एंड द न्यू केवल द फीमेल सेक्स ऑर्गन इज फाउंड इन काड़ा एंड डिटेला एंड सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इज ऑकर्ड बाई टू प्रोसेस वन इज प्लास्मोगी एंड एनदर इज कैरियोगी प्लास्मोगी इज सिंपली द फ्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोटोप्लास्ट सो प्रोटोप्लास्ट कॉन्टेन द प्रोटोप्लाजम विथ प्लास्मा मेम्ब्रेन एंड द फ्यूशन ऑफ दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज कॉल द प्लास्मोगी कैरियोगी फ्यूशन ऑफ द टू न्यूक्ली दैट इज द फ्यूशन ऑफ द टू न्यूक्ली ऑफ द डिफरेंट गैमेट इज कॉल्ड कैरियोगी नेक्स्ट सीन गैमी ऑकरेंस ऑफ द प्लास्मो गैमी एंड द कैरियर गैमी ड्यूरिंग द यूनियन ऑफ गैमेट्स टू फॉर्म द जायोड दिस इज कॉल्ड एज सीन गैमी एंड ऑटोगामी हायर सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इंक्लूड्स ओनली कैरियर गैमी एंड इन केसेस ऑफ ऑटोगामी नो प्लास्मो गैमी इज सीन एंड ओनली कैरियर गैमी इज ऑकर्ड एंड यूनियन ऑफ द टू न्यूक्ली बोथ ऑफ विच कमिंग फ्रॉम सेम पेरेंट सेल सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज द ऑटोगामी एंड सीन्स दिस दिस टू न्यूक्ली और In this cases, the sexual reproduction is occurred by karyogamy. That is the union of the two nucleus. And since these two nuclei coming from same parents, so this is called as autogamy. Okay. Depending upon the structure and the behavior of the gametes, different types of sexual reproduction can be seen. Actually, in cases of algae, different types of gametes are formed, and on the basis of these different types of gametes. and the different types means they may be morphologically different or they may be physiologically different and which gametes is morphologically different and which gametes is physiologically different these are important okay and uh, depending upon the structure and the behavior of the gametes different types of sexual reproduction can be seen the first type of sexual reproduction is isogamy and this is the diagram of isogamy and in this cases both male and female gamete are similar okay they are morphologically similar and they are also physiologically similar and they will be united and since they are similar so it is not possible to distinguish to them and in this cases the male gamete is designated as the plus sign and the female gamete is designated as the minus sign and since this morphologically and the physiologically similar gametes are united with each other this is called as the isogamy and the union of this gamete is called the fertilization and by the process of fertilization the diploid zygote is produced or the diploid zygote is developed and from this diploid zygote the main plant body will be developed okay fusion of morphologically allied gametes and sometimes physiologically too so these gametes are usually morphologically similar and they uh, sometimes they becomes physiologically similar also male and female gametes cannot be distinguished and in this cases male and female gamete cannot be distinguished and thus they are referred as the plus and minus sign so male gamete is referred as plus sign and the female gamete is referred as minus sign usually gametes come from two different individuals or the filaments so this from where these gametes are come come these gametes may be come from two different individual or two different filaments sometimes from the different cells of the same filament this point is important sometimes we become confused that from where these gametes are uh, are coming so they may be coming from two different filament or from the same filament but from different cell in cases of chlamydomonas and the spirogyra any vegetative cell can produce gamete but in udogonium from the morphologically specialized gametangia can be seen okay and uh, so the in chlamydomonas and the spirogyra any vegetative cell can produce gamete any vegetative cells can become gametangia but udogonium the specialized gametangia is seen next is anisogamy fusion of morphologically dissimilar gametes which may be motile or non motile okay and and in cases of anisogamy the two gametes that is the male gamete and the female gamete are dissimilar and they are morphologically dissimilar and usually uh, they may be motile or non motile motile means they can move and they have the flagella male and female gamete may have flagella or female gametes may not contain flagella or they may be non motile okay but male gametes always motile the male gamete is smaller and the female gametes are larger so they are obviously morphologically dissimilar because male gamete is smaller and the female gamete is larger and for this reason this is called as heterogamy actually okay because the two different types of gametes are uh, are united and in this cases the anisogamy is also called as heterogamy and oogamy is also called as heterogamy so uh, these are the two types of heterogamy anisogamy and oogamy are two different types of heterogamy the male gamete are smaller in cases of anisogamy and the female gametes are larger the fusion of small and the large gamete is called uh, is called anisogamy and is the diagram and where the anisogamy uh, is uh, 
occurring in cases of chlamydomonas species okay and in this cases the two different gametes are united with each other to form the diploid zygote and from this diploid zygote a, a plant body will be developed next is oogamy gametes differ morphologically as well as physiologically so in cases of anisogamy the two different gametes are morphologically dissimilar but in case of oogamy morphologically and physiologically they are dissimilar okay and this is the female gamete and this is the male gamete and the male gamete contains flagella then the fusion of a large non motile egg or ovum with a smaller motile sperm so this is the motile sperm and this is the large non motile ovum and the motile sperm and the non motile ovum fused to form the diploid zygote and the exception is the rhodophyce and example example of the oogamy or oogamy can be seen in cases of chlamydomonas fucus cara and the volvox and the last one is the aplanogamy or the conjugation fusion of two non flagellated amoeboid gametes and when the two gametes are non flagellated or the amoeboid and they are fused uh, and this process is called the aplanogamy and this is uh, this is seen in cases of order conjugals okay here i have written few important uh, key points isogamy in isogamy the morphologically similar male and female gamete and isogamy morphologically dissimilar gametes and oogamy morphologically and the physiologically dissimilar gamete so this, this is the basic differences in between anisogamy and oogamy in anisogamy the male and the female gamete are morphologically dissimilar but in oogamy the male and the female gamete are morphologically and physiologically dissimilar all algae except cyanophyce reproduce sexually so cyanophyce cannot reproduce sexually and uh, and except cyanophyce all algae reproduce sexually in the simplest algae all cells can become gametes but more specialized only some can so in simple algae or the simplest algae all cells can become gamete but the more specialized algae some cells can uh, becomes into the gamete or can be developed into the gamete sporophyte produces spore by meiosis this is very very important okay sporophyte produce spores by meiosis usually the in in plant life cycle the sporophyte stage are those stage which are always diploid okay and the sporophyte produce the spores or the sexual spores by the process of meiosis and since and the gametophyte always is haploid and since the spore is haploid so this is the first cell of the gametophyte and this spore will be developed into the gametophyte okay and gametophyte produce gamete by mitosis since gametophyte is haploid so there is no requirement of the meiosis and the gametophyte will produce gametes by the process of mitosis so this is all about the sexual reproduction of algae